So I'm about to prep these steaks tonight. I've got some New York strips here that I'm going to prep, but that's not really the steaks I want to tell you about. It's these steaks here. I get these tuna steaks at Walmart, and they're it's 16 ounces. What I do is whenever my husband fires up the grill and we have steak night, what I'm going to do is go ahead and prep these as well. You've got four pretty tuna steaks here, but we're not going to eat them tonight. I'm going to have him throw them on there, and we're going to go ahead and cook them, and then I put these in the freezer, and then whenever I want tuna fish, I thaw a couple of those out, and it it is a much better tuna fish than you would get from the can. So I just find that if you really want to step up your tuna game, once you put this on the grill and then you use that instead of a canned tuna, you'll never go back to canned tuna again. So I've got my steaks here, the tuna steaks and the, the New York strip steaks, grass-fed beef that we get here locally. Um, I'm going to go ahead and season them, and I'm going to pretty much season them the same way. I've got a little bit of canola oil, and I'm just going to, this is the bottle that I use with my Blackstone. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. I'm going to flip them and do that on both sides. Simple, easy peasy. Simple salt and pepper. Old school. Alright, then we're going to get some more of that oil on there. Got that salt and pepper. Same thing on the tuna steaks. I got my potatoes in the air fryer. I'm going to make a nice salad. We're going to have the beef steaks tonight. And then I'll show you how we're going to do the tuna. So we've got the grill hot. We're going to cook the tuna steaks first. And then after we pull the tuna steaks off, we'll go ahead with our steaks for the supper that we're preparing tonight. But we're going to go on with the tuna steaks and we're going to go about a minute and a half on each side that's it we're going to go ahead and put them on there and like i said then we'll pull them off we'll let them rest and then we will put them we're going to go about a minute and a half on each side so we're going to give them a flip look at that how beautiful is that no can. Look at those grill marks. That's going to be so delicious when we make our homemade bread and make a good old tuna sandwich. We're going to go another minute and a half and then we're going to pull them off. Time to pull them off. So in three minutes, that's what we've got. There you have it. Let's let them cool. Now we're going on with the steaks for tonight's supper. Look how pretty that grass-fed beef is. That's a wrap till I make the... And there you have the steak dinner. Now on to the tuna fish. All right, our tuna steaks have cooled. We're gonna put them in a Ziploc freezer bag. This is a reusable bag, but you could put it in just a regular Ziploc. And we're gonna do them in one layer like that, seal them, put them in the freezer. That way, whenever we're ready to use them, they're ready to go.